The load call reports module streamlines the process of getting data files out of the system and into the hands of your customers. While load call does offer the ability for you to create accounts for your customers so they can log in and get the data in real time, a lot of them probably won't want to do that and they'd prefer to keep getting the uh, Excel or PDF reports that they are used to. So luckily load call comes with the ability to create custom reports very easily and you know customize them to your customers needs and email them all from in the platform. So in here we're going to cover some of this. Up here at the top we have the template builder which we'll cover in a different video which lets you create report templates for your customers so customize Excel and PDF reports. The emails button will open up an email page which we'll cover in a video about emails where you can use the load call emailer to send out uh, a tat or emails with reports attached to them with whatever you know you've customized in the template builder. And then in another video also we're going to talk about the client report access button which will open up a page where you can customize what reports your clients have access to. So those will be covered in three separate videos. In this video we're going to go over the different tabs in here and how to use the uh, reporting system within load call. Within the reports page, the first two tabs here are reports customized to your purchasers and your producers. So right here, I have a list of all of my different purchasers right here. So Atlas, Downstream, Bravo, Energy Core, Central Oil and Gas, and then a couple down here that are kind of test ones that aren't real, an import test and a test purchaser. And underneath each of them, you'll notice that there are different reports that are shown up right here. So for Atlas Downstream, I have set up to have a 24-hour standard run tickets report, that's an Excel report, and two PDFs, the 24-hour uh, standard run tickets and then the 24-hour standard run tickets with PO numbers. And you can change these so that customers have different things. So right here, Bravo Energy Core, instead of wanting 24-hour reports, they mostly want these MTD or month-to-date reports in here and Central Oil and Gas has a different setup here as well. So in order to customize the reports that show up underneath these purchasers, you can click on a gear wheel next to any of the purchasers, and in here you gain access to a bunch of the uh, different reports in here. So there is a search bar if you have a lot of different report templates, you can start typing in a um, field in here, and you can see I typed in PO, which limited it down to those reports that have that information in there. But uh, we have three columns right here. We have 24-hour reports, we have month-to-date reports, and then we have client portal reports. And then we also down here have invoices, which applies to a different section. Uh, right here, you can see I've checked to show this standard run ticket report that's 24 hours for both of these. If I wanted to add the month-to-date report as well, I can check this box, and you'll notice over here we got another Excel that shows up right here with the month-to-date. The uh, client portal report is the reports that are accessible that you want your clients to have access to. So you may not want them to have access to a bunch of internal reports that you may use for them. But uh, you can check the tick, the reports that you want them to have access to. And then the invoice report right here just gives access when you do an invoice for Atlas downstream, you can access that specific invoice template. So you can have different types of invoice reports as well that you manage from here. But uh, once you've customized that, you can click on any of these reports and what it'll do is it'll pull up a window where in the 24 hour you can see it's got the 23rd to the 24th, whereas I click on a month to date one, it'll do from the first to now. So by setting these kind of tiles up right here, it makes it so that when you click on them, it'll automatically filter it down. You get the start date, end date, it's set up so that all you have to do is click down or load report and it will go ahead and download a report for you that you can open up in the uh, specified format. So that one's a CSV file. If I downloaded this one instead, it's going to be a PDF file and you can open it up and take a look at it right here. So it doesn't look like that there were any tickets for uh, the 24 hours. Instead, if I do, you know, month to date down here, it's going to take a little bit longer because there's actually data on there. And then once I open that up, you can see that I have that report right here. So the uh, producers is the exact same, except for instead of filtering for a purchaser, it'll filter for a producer if you need to send reports to them. I can go ahead and click on this gear wheel, activate them and say that, you know, Ambridge uses these couple of reports right here. And then when I open this up, it'll obviously filter it down to uh, include just that information. I can download those from there. So those are kind of the first two tabs where you can create pretty much shortcuts to get reports that you use on a regular basis for either your purchasers or your producers. 
While these first two tabs are pretty useful to create a bunch of shortcuts so it's fast to go in and click through and download the reports you want, the uh, load call also supports the ability to have kind of customized from the top um, reports right here. So if we come into the tickets tab, then we can choose the exact parameters that we want to use when we download our tickets. So we can choose specific dates and times. We can filter by any set of the purchasers or producers, pickup, drop-off locations, carriers. If you have a specific bill of lading that you're looking for, you can put that in there. So what this lets you do is really quickly go in and choose the uh, specific parameters that you want to use when filtering down the report. And then down here, it'll just have all of your different report templates that you have accessible that you've created here in the template builder. So you can click on one of these and based on the parameters, it will download it. Uh, these other tabs over here have different types of reports. So tickets are kind of the main report thing that you're gonna be downloading. But we also do have jobs. This will just load all of the active jobs and you can filter down by the uh, specific region if you want to just see loads for one of your regions. So this will just pull any live active loads that are either unassigned or assigned out to drivers that have not yet been completed. The directory tab will let you download reports that pull information for your carriers, pickup locations, drop-off locations, producers, purchasers, regions, etc. And then the insurance tab will let you pull active truck, active trailer, and active uh, driver information in here. So you can choose the date ranges, and this will download a report that just shows drivers or trucks or trailers that did a load in between the specified dates. So this can be useful if you're paying insurance on specific information. Uh, uh, personnel or equipment and want to kind of go in and uh, make sure you're not paying insurance on equipment that hasn't been active. So a good way to kind of sanity check against that. So yeah, so that is the reports page. And in other videos, we will cover some of the in-depth features in here that kind of help you customize the templates or, you know, automate the uh, emailing or access to those reports. So we'll cover those in separate videos.